I know a shortcut. Come on, this way. The station is right through here. After you. I read about this place in the manual. We shouldn't go in there. Bing Bong says it's the quickest way to head. I go in here all the time. It's a shortcut, you see? D-A-N-G-E-R, shortcut. In order to use and build gateways, the first thing you'll need to do is research the technology gateway activation. This will allow us to restore ruined gateways that we find and include inside of our empire. In order to be able to roll that technology though, you must find a disabled gateway somewhere within the galaxy. You must visibly be able to see one or alternatively find an L gate. Now these are only present around black holes and they are quite different in their function to gateways. Or alternatively, an empire that you have relations with has to also have the gateway activation technology and then it could become available for us to research it. Once we do research it, we will be able to repair and reactivate any disabled gateways within our space. And that is the start of our gateway network. With gateway construction, we must first get gateway activation technology. And additionally, we also have to research mega engineering because gateways are mega structures. So in order to build our own gateway network and not just use reactivated gateways that we find scattered around the galaxy, we will need to get mega engineering and then unlock this gateway construction technology. If you enjoy this video, please teleport that like button. Once we unlock that, we can place a gateway construction site at the edge of one of the gravity wells of any system we control. It's going to take three years to get that built and once we placed it and built it at the edge of one of our systems, we can then upgrade the gateway construction site and that will give us a new gateway which will form a part of our network. It's important to note the first gateway you reactivate will cause one random other disabled gateway somewhere else in the galaxy to also reactivate. So there will be a rudimentary gateway network that is created right at the start of your journey into gateway construction. But I really do have to stress, if you are running a game with no gateways in the galaxy, if you roll and none are spawned, then you simply will not be able to build any gateways in your game. It is completely impossible. But how do gateways work and what is the allure of them? Well, you can travel between one gateway to any other activated gateway with a couple of caveats. What does that mean for you as a player? Well, let's say I have this fleet here which is in my home system here of Kanara, and I want to travel all the way across the galaxy over here to the Alpha Refuge. Normally this would take a very long time, but thanks to my gateway, I can travel here in only two to three days. That means that your fleets have a very rapid response time to any threats anywhere in the universe if you build your gateways in a tactical and strategic way. But what about other empires, what are the rules? We obviously don't want to build a back door or a network to all of our planets for any enemy fleets. How does it work then? Well, rest assured, this is not going to be a problem. Any empire that you are at war with, any empire that you have closed borders to will not be able to use your gateways as part of their effective network. What does this mean? Well. Your network of gateways is all of the gateways in your space that you constructed, all of the neutral gateways, and all gateways in any empires which have open borders with you. It's important to note, there is no way of a regular empire closing their borders to a fallen empire. Therefore, regular empires gateways can always be accessed by the fallen empires, except when those regular empires are at war. So, when you go to war with someone, they can no longer fly through any gateways that are existing inside of your space. And that is still true as long as you are not in a total war. So even if they occupy the system, uh, they, they, they haven't actually taken it from you, they've just occupied it, they still won't have access to that gateway. You will still be the one with access to that gateway. But what about claims? Well, if you want to make claims, Claims can be made through a gateway. So if you have a gateway anywhere in your space and any other empires have gateways, you can claim their systems with the gateway as if that system was adjacent to one of your own, provided 
that the Empire does not have closed borders to. For instance, here I can claim the Sol system and that is going to only be the base cost based on the value of the system and the colonies and star bases within it and not include any distance bonuses because as you can see they have built a gateway in their system. This is easily prevented by closing borders. Sectors which can be very tricky to deal with they will never extend through a gateway. So yes a sector will be up to four hyperlane jumps from the capital but because it doesn't extend through the gateway you cannot combine all of your territory into a single massive sector. The next thing to note is that gateways greatly enhance and simplify both trade routes and trade collection. Collection range can be extended through a gateway. For instance, I have these two systems here, Shukon and Clear, but they are not in range of any star bases with any collection modules. If I were to build a gateway on Mestros, one of my star bases, which is on another gateway system somewhere, which already has a couple of upgrades and has enough collection range. It only needs a collection range actually of one, two, three to get all the way to clear, would then be able to collect that trade. I'll go and do that now. As you can see, now that I've built a gateway here on Mestros, both clear and Shukton are both having their trade value collected even though it would appear to us there are no good star bases in range that could collect that trade value. It's actually the star base here at Kanara, our capital, which does have a gateway. As you can see, that has trade collection range all the way out here through the gateway. And as I've mentioned before, trade value, trade routes, can pass through gateways. Here I have the Alpha Refuge. That would take a very long and windy path to get back to our capital, but instead it can simply travel through the gateway and that way it will get directly to where it needs to go. And because both systems have star bases, there can be no piracy. So in the late game, gateways become essential for the collection of trade and also for trade value to prevent piracy. As piracy can never spawn in a system with a starbase, that means you can then collect trade with starbases and make sure that each starbase only has a distance of one to travel to travel directly back to your homeworld, completely preventing any possible piracy. Gateways also cannot be deactivated or destroyed once they are fully activated or constructed. However, gateways can still be destroyed by star eaters when those star eaters destroy a system. If you'd like to know more about the other mega structures available in Stellaris, which ones we should build, which ones are fantastic, and which ones are basically dog poo, click the video on screen now.